morning everyone you know that every every week we are seeing the technology based video presentations and this is mainly to create an awareness among the farming community among the stakeholders among the wood based industries who are taking agroforestry into a different level and our major mandate is mainly to create forestry outside the natural forest in the form of agroforestry or a farm forestry or maybe urban or recreation forestry and that to this creation of these forestry will ensure security in raw material availability besides catering to the needs of the ecosystem and environmental stability and at this concept tamil nadu research university the forest college research institute during the last one and a half decades particularly right from 2004 onwards we have been promoting agro forestry in all main sectors you know that country country's natural forest is closed for felling and that is the direction from government of india level particularly all the wood based industries who are delivering the raw material they have to create a mechanism so that they will develop the raw material resources only from the agro forest sector or from the forest created outside the natural forest sector so these are all the major system which have been initiated by forest college in year 2004 and that was implemented organized agro forestry has been implemented through what is called as a value chain model the value chain is creating an intervention creating an innovations in each and every stage of production to development system in agro forest when you take agro forest there is a production system there is a processing system at industry level and there is a consumption system both at the farming community and also at the industry level so this is what we call it as a pcs level so this pcs level originally it was the entire pcs level was highly organized and we introduce what is called as a innovations at the production level the technology based innovations at processing level again technology based innovations and interventions at marketing level the organizational interventions so that is the reason the entire production to consumption system agro policy was innovated was intervened through what is called as a technology innovations organizational innovations and marketing innovations so all these issues forest college and the section should as innovated a value chain system in agro policy the value chain model was introduced in the year 2008 implemented in the state of chennai tamil nadu and we have got a growing attraction from paper industry initially tmp and shashai group then it was attracted by match industries and we have implemented elaborately across state of tamil nadu during the last right from 2008 up to 2014 then after that to sustain these activities particularly from the production to consumption system to sustain these activities and to encourage more of public private partnership more of the system development so we created we conceived what is called as a consortium of industrial agro parks so initially we have taken only the beneficiaries from the value chain project now this, this is this has been extended to almost all stakeholders involved either from production system or from processing system or from consumption system the purpose of the objective of consortium is very very clear one is create a linkage among the stakeholders wherever possible those who are involved in agro forestry sector we will create a linkages a mechanism once it is linked linked linkages develop we create what is called as a effective collaboration and communication among the participating stakeholders we collaborate simultaneously we communicate so that the best possible the methodology can be innovated that can be translated that is what the major second major objective third important objective is very clear to systematically do r and d it is not a short term crop it is a short term to long term crop we need a continuous funding so how to do it can we create a mechanism so that all the workers and assist can fund on the system so that r and d is a continuous process so all these things are we have taken a very big lead and lastly we need what is called as a once it is the technology development this technology go to all the people for which effective awareness wherever possible technology based agro forestry promotion has been taken a mandatory system and not only for agro forestry alone even if we are taking for the forestry promotion outside the agro forestry system also in the form of urban forestry recreation forestry so that the trees outside forestry can take can be taken into a very different level technology based tree promotion from the outside forestry sector and lastly we are also based on the discussion consultation with all the consortia members we also identify what are the problems and concerns faced by the farmers faced by the industries how these can be resolved how these can be resolved and all you identify all the stakeholders what are the problems faced by the stakeholders stakeholders list of the problem and the problem identification happens every year during the consortium meetings once we identify the problem 
then we resolve the problem through technology r and d research and development mechanism for which all industries are supporting it farmers are supporting it and the almost all stakeholders are supporting it you can also see some of the video clips how the consortium meets are connected how the consortium farmers are taken into a different level all these things we can see in the subsequent video and subsequent presentation as well system is very clear because wherever the problem arises what are the problems quality planting material is a problem plantation development because there won't be any there may not be skilled helpers skilled workers can we facilitate through plantation development team to establish plantations third important thing is felling very systematic we have a consortium of nurseries these consortium nurseries are able to you know produce annually almost 5 to 10 million plants that means that alone able to produce quality seedlings how this is been able to do We are we are able to you know train the consortium nurseries both in terms of the quality seedling production through clones as well as seedlings and seedlings also through improved genetic resources. This is one point production of quality seedling productions as envisaged in the policy issues. Today everyone wants to do agroforestry, but what is the skill skilled manpower availability? That's the reason consortium of industrial agroforestry. We have established more than fifteen the plantation development institutions, and these institutions, and they will just go whenever there is a demand. These institutions will go and do all the activities right from land preparation up to planting, and this is done both mechanically and manually also. So wherever it is needed, large scale mechanical mechanical pitters, mechanical land clearing operations, and only the planting operations alone done by these. So based on this plantation development team, with the help of this team, consortium plantation development team, we are able to almost do a minimum of 5,000 acres of agroforestry plantations across the state of Tamil Nadu. And this is, I must really thankful to all the consortium industries through the industrial participation, particularly timber industry, plywood industry, paper industry, and the consortium plantation development team alone will do this plantation activity. This plantation development team, they have been given. the the experiences they have been given practical exposure practical training in terms of the spacing the pitting the inputs to be added and the plant the plant quality seedling produced then how it can be planted and on the management operation after planting also what are the after care plantation operations all the silvicultural operations are also taught to these plantation team so this is the capacity building or skill development is a mandatory system to develop a plantations organized plantation and once the plantation is developed it will be linked to the concerned industries for a contract farming system that is also we are doing on a large scale and everything is documented in the system and third important thing is welling institution we have we have established in nearly 12 different welling institutions where in more than 250 workers are there and for all these workers skill development is you know, you know given how they have been asked they have been trained in terms of using power chainsaws using tree pruners using conversion machines even using in situ chipping deboxing almost these are all the welling institution they facilitate welling operations so annually the consortium welling institution they are able to you know build more than 1.25 lakh tons of wood and that that harvested material is supplied to the timber industry pulp industry paper industry plywood industry and other energy industries as well so why i am saying this not only we do the the system of you know promoting capacity building but we also implement the whole project of agroforestry in associated with all consortium industries that made us to introduce what is called as a different contract farming system like timber contract farming plywood contract farming pulp wood contract farming match wood energy contract for all these contract farming activities what is needed is quality seedlings for which consortium nurseries are able to do the facilities plantation development consortium plantation development team they are able to facilitate plantation development operations and that starts with the plant land preparation up to planting and post planting operations also and last category is welling institution they are also doing wonderful job so in a holistic approach I think the consortium is doing almost all the activities 
like from production to consumption system which cater to the needs of farmers and other stakeholders involved in the entire value chain process third important thing is sustaining r&d it is not a 3 years based or 5 years based can we sustain r&d because you know that trees need to be evaluated for a minimum of 6 years and maximum of 20 years depending on the crop variety depending on the tree variety we work with the timber species pulpwood species plywood species energy therapeutic therapeutic for therapeutic trees medicinal trees recreation trees urban trees pollution pollution tolerant trees like that wide range of tree species all these uh, objective based trees screening trees demand continuous research and development mechanism for which forest college and research institute has created an exclusively consortium mode r&d farm consortium mode r&d nursery r&d clone bank r&d gen genetic resources the consortium based based industrial sponsored r&d projects as i said earlier we develop a varieties species for uh, timber genetic resources screening timber genetic resources next slide you can see how the timber genetic resources and what are the improvement made in latest timber species now you can see the plywood species how the plywood species are screened traditionally plywood was used only by eucalyptus today we have taken not only eucalyptus melia dubia tuna ciliata chukrisia tabularis acrocarpus fractionifolius even eucalyptus also new grand species almost you can see now what are the new and alternate species amenable for plywood production next slide you can see how the new, new species have been taken to level now pulpwood species originally paper was from grasses then bamboos now what have, what have happened now we all hardwoods like eucalyptus and casuarina is there any alternate pulpwood species or otherwise existing casuarina and uh, eucalyptus can be improved so all these things next slide next slide you can see next uh, video clipping we can see biofuel we can see the biofuel uh, species how they are utilized and all these things are continuous r&d for which consortium of industrial agroforestry i must really thank all the consortium industries for facilitating r&d mechanism that made us to develop a variety and the variety is going to the farmers field and through which we are creating the agriculture productivity in a larger way simultaneously we are creating raw material resources to create self reliance and raw material security besides catering to the needs of climate change mitigation through carbon sequestration process the r&d research and development mechanism is a continuous process in forestry sector for which consortium play a vital role because this is able to able to attract all the stakeholders starting from farmers once the varieties are developed i am not just simply taking the variety one directly though it is taken to the farmers level it is a consortium farmers and other farmers as well all other beneficiaries those who are interested in agroforestry we take the variety they evaluate in the farmers field evaluate in the industry field based on the total evaluation total satisfaction the variety is developed and that variety is you know released through state variety list committee that is how we are taking the whole process this consortium of industrial agroforestry facilitates development of varieties facilitates development of different models facilitate development of technologies like multifunctional agroforestry and other concept and technology facilitates development of industrial testing also because we cannot take just like that one of the advantage of this consortium is very clear whatever we are developing 
that variety has to pass through the industrial testing as well which will which have to satisfy for different utility so that also it, it happens you see this is a typical acacia acacia hybrids so acacia hybrids and similarly you can see what are the improved varieties of other species and through a video clipping you can see various models also we develop we test all the wood varieties and based on the superiority in terms of quality and in terms of productivity this will go for amplified clonal test through a uh, organized test maybe in the both in the farmers field and also in the industrial sited areas so once it is satisfied all the growth and development it will go as a variety for release through the organized structure of the government agencies so all these things are very systematically done so you can these these are the system which really we made us we look for a physical quality chemical quality anatomical quality and mechanical quality similarly when you take the media ruby and all it will go both as a timber and also as a plywood and simultaneously anything less than 12 inches it will go to paper industries like that we develop a variety for each and every specific utility so now next video clipping you can see how the trees are harvested how the trees are tested for a various wood quality purpose Finally, the consortium of industrial agroforestry also does policy suggestions, particularly based on the consultations and the mutual discussion with all the consortium stakeholders, the the people involved in the entire production to consumption system agroforestry. We identify all these suggestions, and the suggestions are articulated in the form of policy recommendations, and that is also given to government. So, consortium does whatever involve, whatever issues involve, right from production to consumption system, including the policy suggestions. we are all making through a mutual consultations for which this is one of the innovative institutions established by tnau and for the during the last 6 years it has spread all over both horizontally and vertically incorporated and included all the members of the stakeholders that's a very classical advantages take the members so the starting from farmers up to consuming industries and those who are involved intermittently in all the systems they are all involved and we annually meet we arrive at the the last one year what are the suggestions what are the issues raised by all stakeholders and what are the suggestive measures to resolve the issues the suggestive measures 
we resolve in the form of technological intervention through a continued R&D. Organizational interventions to facilitate the communication and the collaboration among the stakeholders. Marketing intervention wherever possible to suggest to facilitate price supportive system between the farmers and the consuming industries. So these are all the systems which we are doing it in a systematic approach and this is a unique institution. This unique institution has been established at Forest College Institute in Metropolium. Currently addresses the needs of entire state of Tamil Nadu. Slowly we are you know, extending this tentacle across the country as well. Currently the consortium members included members from more than 10 different states distributed across India. So that is a very classical example how the model has been taken into a different level. So I may request to all the, all the listeners of this YouTube, this video uh, based uh, presentation is wherever possible, create a linkages. The crea linkages creation is only not to disseminate information, but also establish technologies. The established technologies can easily be transferred through these stakeholders. And wherever possible, link the industries, the consuming uh, in industries, consuming in institutions. And wherever possible, financial institutions can also be leveraged so that what the issues involved in the entire production to consumption system can be resolved through technological intervention, can be resolved through a consortium approach through organization intervention, can be resolved for a marketing through a price supportive system, can be resolved through financial institution by leveraging the financial help also through these systems. For which the institution established and Forest College Research Institute at Metropolium is one of the unique model and this will really help to promote agroforestry not only in the state of Tamil Nadu but also across the country as well. This will also help to promote trees outside the forest so that the government of India's mandate and the government of Tamil Nadu mandate of you know, establishing 33% of the forest cover, uh, protecting the natural forest, simultaneously creating forests outside the natural forest to satisfy the demands of 33% of total geographic area can become uh, fruitful in a short while. So that is a very classical example of this particular model. And definitely, I, we are throwing this presentation, we are giving this presentation for only one reason, for easy understanding, for easy adoption and for easy replication so that the trees outside forest can easily be established so that we can increase the forest cover and green cover. Ultimately, this will ensure productivity, this will ensure profitability to the farmers, this will ensure the growing climate change associated risk and uncertainties can easily be eliminated through agroforestry based adaptation strategy and mitigation strategy. Above all, the carbon sequestration potential of agroforestry is going to be very, very augmented system. Definitely, this, this agroforestry model, particularly the institution based agroforestry promotion is going to be very important message to all the stakeholders who are listening through this uh, video, video presentation. This is a model which we can replicate. Thank you everyone for a patient here.